from high in the hills of Inishowen, our abundant rainfall pours down through ditches, through tributaries and streams, into the Glen Tahar River, which flows down in through Carndona town. From here it's known as the Donna River, and it continues its journey north into Trobega Bay and off into the North Atlantic Ocean. On either side can be seen the riverside habitat, or riparian habitat as it's known. This riparian habitat has a whole host of different plants and animals. From tall trees, lower shrubs and lots of flowering plants including a lovely mix of grasses. These in turn give shelter and food for all sorts of insects, some of our very important pollinators like hoverflies, bumblebees and butterflies. Underneath the stones themselves are some bugs that have evolved many, many millions of years ago. These insects and other characters can help us tell the quality of the river water. And they also provide food for riverside specialists, such as the grey wagtail, with its beautiful yellow and grey colours. Human interference can be seen too. Nutrient enrichment causes algae blooms. However, the riverside banks the riparian habitats, if bolstered, if more structure is added, if more plants, bushes, shrubs are added to them in the right place, they can not only help keep the river clean by filtering out our own activities, but they provide a natural nature corridor running down the length of the Dunner River, giving shelter to all of those different animals. And if we repair pathways, we can give ourselves access to the beauty and tranquility of these nature corridors. Giving ourselves a little break from the hustle and bustle of life that is all around us, sometimes over our very heads as the Donna River flows through Carndonna Town.